Hi there and welcome to Platinum Journey where I document the highs and lows of getting a Platinum Trophy in some brilliant games. Today's episode, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn is set in the 31st century with dinosaur-like machines roaming the lands. Human civilization has survived from the brink of extinction and continues to struggle as each year the machines get stronger and more aggressive. Playing as a young, orphaned machine hunter named Aloy, you must unravel the mysteries of this world and discover the true meaning of Zero Dawn. In regards to trophies, I already had 30 of the 48 bronze, thanks to playing a good chunk of the game a few months ago, but none of the 5 silver or 2 gold. The 18 bronze trophies are for finding collectibles, overriding 7 different types of machines so they are now friendly, reaching the highest level, 50, scan every type of machine, reaching the core of a cauldron and accessing its information. That sounds confusing, it, it, it tripped me up numerous times and I double and triple check. It's called a cauldron. I don't know why, it it just is. It, they're dungeons. Earning bronze medals in three trials at one hunting ground. Helping a character from the Hunter's Lodge kill a Thunderjaw, the most powerful type of machine. Getting armor that regenerates. I'll be doing this first. And the last bronze trophy is to have all possible optional allies join Aloy for the final mission. This can be done by completing their corresponding quests. The five silver trophies are for scaling all tall necks, taking back settlements from bandit clans, reaching the core of every cauldron and accessing the information within, earning at least a bronze medal in every hunting trial, and killing all the corrupted machines in the corrupted zones. The two gold trophies are for finishing the story and what will undoubtedly be the most difficult trophy, earning a gold medal in all 15 hunting trials. Okay, here we go. This is daunting. <laughs> So I know what I have to do first. Get that armor. It's locked in this container and you gotta get five power cells to unlock the doors around it. And I got four of them, but I went to all five locations of the power cells and still only had four. So I must have missed one of them, which means I gotta revisit all five locations. Location number one. No power cell. Location number two. But trying to ignore the many hostile machines attacking me. Uh, no power cell. Location number three? I wonder if I can find a way to get a mold. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Hallelujah! This is good. I headed back to the cave, replaced the last power cell, and collected my reward. Wow, that is some pretty nice looking armor. However, I prefer this sort of ninja looking armor, because ninjas. The regeneration shield armor will be handy in combat, but for roaming around, I'll be sticking to this. Next, the first cauldron. By accessing the information in the core, I can override four new machines. With each cauldron, the machines I'll be able to override will get bigger and bigger. How big, you ask? Well... This mechanized T-Rex is now pretty much my pet. A pet who always protects its master. Who's a good boy? I then overrided. Ugh, that isn't really a word, is it? Overridden? No. I performed an override on this snap maw. Not nearly as much fun as a thunderjaw. Cleared out bandit camps. 
corrupted zones and scaled the last tall neck. Oh Jesus, it's like the Uncharted style jumping where you're going like that, no, the physics don't make sense there but you made it so, no complaining. There is only one area left that I have not explored. That is down here. This has been my favorite part of Horizon. Is the going, is, is just going into a, an unknown area and letting the world unfold in front of me. Because the terrain does change, like there's deserts over here, mountain and snow up over here. It's a good world, I like it. At times, Horizon is drop dead gorgeous. If you aren't focused on a mission and feel like taking in the sights, switching off the entire HUD truly puts you in a world unlike any other. Only one cauldron remains. I bat my way to the core, get the information, defend for two minutes against man and beast, and am on my merry way out when... Oh shit! Oh god, I have to do it again? I sure do, except this time I avoid the massive pit of molten hot lava. Go, nicely done. Shortly after, I tracked down a Stormbird, the last machine to scan, admired its majestic beauty, and then ran like hell. And we go to the Hunter Trials. Hunter Trials? Hunting Trials. Hunting Trials. These trials include killing machines with traps, removing a disc launcher from a thunder jaw to kill other machines, removing canisters, basically any challenge you can think of involving machines, it's probably in these trials. Nice. My first set of trials went well. Some took a couple of attempts, but nothing too strenuous. And it seemed and my next set of trials would be the same. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What trial can I give you today? <laughs> Happiest fecker in the world. <laughs> Race Glinthawks to Watcher Corpses. Glinthawks are the flying machines who are looting the dead machines. I must loot three of them first. What the fuck? Did he just run away with it? And now it's dark. I cannot see a fucking thing. What am I even doing? What am I even doing? What am I even doing? Fuck off. Get up. Jump. Not enough loot. I gotta somehow make it all the way back up to that gobshite. This was the trial I remember. This is the trial that turned me off doing all the trials. Didn't finish the trial, but at least it was exciting. For me, it was exciting. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. What an asshole! Well, joke's on you, because I beat the trial in my next attempt. Suck on that, you condescending muppet. Okay, the last set of hunting trials. For the first trial, I must kill four watchers, these big-eyed feckers, with a silent strike. Alerting the watchers or any of the other dozen machines strolling around makes killing them stealthily almost impossible under the two-minute time limit. Ah! 
Okay, flub that one. Flubbed it again. And get the first guy. Just the rest that are a problem. Did you just seriously mess up my shit? These guys appearing out of nowhere. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I think I got a root though. Come on, I got 30 seconds. <clears throat> Fucking nailed it. Two to go. Okay, what's this trial? Loot shell walker crates. Let's see how this goes. Move, you fuck! I can't see a goddamn. <sighs> Why is this so hard? Sun is coming up, anyway. That's a good thing. I've been trying to do this so goddamn long. Shards, you dumb fucking. Did I do it? In the middle of the trial, picking up metal shards, not searching. Those are the two hardest trials yet. Stalker kill trial. Yes, let me kill stuff. I can do that. I'm getting there, because this is the final trial. All suns at all goals, blazing suns at all grounds. There we go. 15 trials, some more difficult than others, like those two, ooh, they were rough. <sighs> closing in, I feel like I'm closing in on this platinum trophy. What is left? 23 grazer dummies, what are they? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> More stuff I gotta flit around the map looking for. Ah, Jesus. These grazer dummies are used to train young warriors. To hell with them. I believe the last side quest I have to do so that all my allies I've met along the way join me for the big final fight is the hunting lodge quest. I don't know how it works, but I've actually never been to the hunting lodge. You can get there pretty early in the game if you do a couple of the hunting trials, but I skipped them all. <laughs> Quite excited to see what this thing is all about. Is it worth the anticipation? Whoa, this is impressive. This isn't some two-bit taverns type of lodge. This is a, a huge fucking lads playing music in the corner. This is a lodge I would like check into and stay for the night. Get drunk in the corner with these lads. Focus, there'll be plenty of time to get drunk after all this is over. For now, I have quests to do. 
like killing a mighty Thunderjaw. I'm in your debt. Excellent. That is it in terms of just about everything I need to do before the final mission. Uh, the only other trophy I have to get is to get to level 50, but I'm assuming that will happen. I'm level 48 and two fifths. I'm assuming there'll be enough enemies and enough happenings during the final mission that'll get that last level in a bit. Just as a little side note, time played 46 hours and 48 minutes. And this is your spoiler warning. If you don't want to see the ending of Horizon, skip to the time code on screen. Before the bombastic final mission, best get some rest. I hear saving the world can be a little bit tiring. Oh, excellent. It's good to know that all the side quests actually worked. And here we go, the big... Finale. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Corrupted machines charge at the capital. What can be done? How about a run-of-the-mill turret defense objective? Truly exhilarating. Level 50. Level 50 achieved. All allies, literally the last trophy to get is beating the game. Closing in on it. Now to put an end to the corruption once and for all. Let's do this. Never seen so many machines. Time to do what you came for, Aloy. <laughs> the world is saved. Hooray! And everyone near and far rejoiced. Here we go. <laughs> that might have been the longest delay in between final trophy and the platinum. Look at that. How enticing this game is. Just beautiful. I think I want to do the new game plus. To go back and relive this game. Because one of my favourite parts was when you get a quest and it would be out into the fog of war. Which I've mentioned before. Where yeah, there's no fast travel. You gotta go out into wilderness and see what you'll discover. I don't mind playing this again on New Game Plus. Keep, you know, be overpowered. Turn off the HUD completely. Just total immersion. That could be good. That could be really good. That's what I'm going to do. That is what I am going to do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Until next time, take care.